Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Marine Max in Pompano Beach. My name is Chris Wenstrom here showing you a brand new boat that we just had arrive. This is Boston Whalers all new 280 Vantage. This is the midsize in their dual console fishing boat line. And we're going to walk you through and show you why this is a perfect boat for the family to get together and enjoy their time on the water. We're going to start here on the aft end of the boat. As you can see, this boat is powered by twin white Mercury 300 Verado outboards. Great power package for this boat. It'll wind this boat up to every bit of 50 miles an hour. So great power if you do have a load full of people on the boat, help you get on plane nice and easy and uh, do some nice cruising out while you're on the water. Nice big swim platform that does angle to either side of the motor for a little additional safety. And I do have a four step reboarding ladder on the starboard side underneath that latch. Working my way into the boat here, as you can see, nice big open cockpit. If I did want to have a day of fishing, where I have rod holders all the way around the aft end of this boat mounted to the hard top and then in the gunnel line on both sides. So great spot to be able to stow your fishing rods. And then this also does include what's new in the new 280 is your live well is now mounted on the transom. So I think a great improvement there from Boston Whaler, give you a little bit better access to your live well. And then with these dual consoles, they do have this convertible aft seat. So a nice double wide lounge for two people to sit here comfortably. And if you wanted to stow it away, it stows away just as easy. I have two gas struts molded into the padding, as well as this big heavy duty hardware to keep that seat from rattling or vibrating when you're underway. Two in-floor fish boxes. And those fish boxes do have a macerator. What I love about this 280 Vantage is the fact that this does have a dive door on the port side. So just an additional way to be able to board the boat. Big latch, and this door swings open. Look at the size of that door. Big gasket to keep it nice and watertight. It will stow away, so it won't be flapping around if you're underway. Easy access in and out of the water. I do have a plug-in ladder, as well as a reboarding handle. So a nice thought there from Boston Mother just to give us another access point into the boat. Door locks away nice and secure. Here in the bilge, one thing Boston Mother always does very, very well is they finish out the entire bilge compartment. The underside of the hatch is all finished fiberglass. Two gas assist struts as well as a gasket to keep this nice and watertight. Access to all of your pumps, switches, batteries, as well as your power steering pumps. As we work our way over here to the starboard side of the boat, I wanted to show you the way the Boston Whaler designs their summer kitchen. Pull on that handle, and you can see that this cooktop cover actually stows away to the side, exposing my electric grill top, but also giving me a prep station if I needed to prep any food before it does go onto the grill. Pull on that same handle, bring this cover back in place. That latches right back in place just like that. A nice pull out refrigerator for our drinks and just a nice small observer seat just behind the grill. If I did have an extra body on board that I needed to put in a chair, I've got a nice space here. One of the coolest features on this 280 Vantage is this convertible port side seat. As you can see here, the backrest in its neutral position gives me available seating on either side to be able to use that backrest. With the pull of this trigger, this seat can move into a number of different positions. So if I wanted to face aft, if I have my aft seat deployed, I've got companion seating here on this side, but watch this. Pull that trigger again, and I can lay that backrest into a full-size bed. So I've got a padded bolster all the way around, nice place to have my head rest up against, but a big long lounge here under the protection of this full-size hardtop if you wanted to take a, take a snooze. Speaking of the hardtop, look at the size of this hardtop. Full beam width at this 28-foot vantage, all framed in white. You can see all the powder coating is done extremely well. And this boat also does include a retractable sunshade. So with the push of a button, this sunshade will retract out and cover your entire cockpit. If we did have a hot day in the summer, this is a great option this, this boat does include. This boat was done in a light blue gel coat, and we decided to opt for the underside of the hardtop to match the hull color. So just a nice breakup between the white and the canvas to have a little pop of blue. 
I think it's a great option. Speakers mounted in the hardtop, courtesy lights in the hardtop. But what I love is it's always there's always a place to grab onto. It's a nice structural piece where everybody can have something to, to grab onto. And then with this observer seat in its forward-facing position, I've got full protection over the frame of this windshield, a lockable glove box, and this is also access into my head. Turn of the latch. You can see this door will catch on a magnet, also with a nice big gasket to keep water intrusion out. But this is a vacuum flush head, one step down, nice and spacious in there with a sink, as well as small storage there underneath your sink. This does have a holding tank with an option for an overboard discharge as well. That locks in place and this entire compartment is lockable as well. So if you wanted to stow any belongings in there, you can lock that up before you say go to dinner or you do leave the boat. We're going to work our way over to the helm here. Individual flip up armrests, flip up and down bolster. Very comfortable helm seat. And as you can see, everything laid out nice and clean here at the helm. I've got my single Simrad multifunction unit right there in front of me. Mercury vessel view display, which is gonna relay all of your engine diagnostics right here to this screen. Voltage, RPM, speed, fuel, everything you need to know right here on your vessel view screen. Simrad VHF. Lenco trim tabs with LED indicators so you can see how active your trim tabs are. And then right next to it is my JL Audio volume knob. So everything I need, I don't need to move. I have everything right in front of me, my key ignition switches, my digital throttle and shift. What's nice about these new Mercury binnacles is I do have active trim, which is standard on the new Mercury's. So active trim is where the motors will actually auto trim based off of the speed and load that you have on the boat to optimize your efficiency. So a really nice feature that now comes standard for Mercury, as well as a new convenient start stop button. So right behind my throttle is my joystick, super popular joystick option. So the joystick allows the motors to move independently of each other to eliminate the need for a bow thruster. So I can laterally slide the boat, I can pivot the boat on its own axis point, and then I have sky hook feature which will lock the boat onto a GPS coordinate and keep the boat fixed in a specific position. Multi-functioning unit here, the joystick is awesome, I wouldn't own a boat without one. We're gonna keep working our way forward here. One thing that I always like to point out in the way they build these windshields out is look at the size of the stainless steel hardware that this windshield does pivot on. So it's extremely heavy windshield. You can see all framed out, just like the rest of the hardtop. Stainless steel latch keeps that in place. And then that windshield will close off. And then below the windshield, is a block off door as well and when we open this door up you can see it gives me access below the console which is a big storage compartment there where i can toss a lot of my different belongings down there keep those out of the way working my way up into the bow what boston wheeler did is they also gave me access to the console underneath the seat so you can see this is hinged if i remove this seat You can see that I have storage all the way inside. That's where my bow table storage is and just a great access point. If I can't get in from the side, you can also open the seat up and access the console from there. And this is also lockable. All of your cushions are removable. This table is a insert that is an option with a filler cushion on top. So I can create more of a sun pad look up here in the bow. It is removable if I wanted to have more access to be able to walk up into the bow here. But a nicely appointed bow seating, extremely high backrests with a flip down armrest. Gives me plenty of room to be able to relax here comfortably. Beverage holders, additional speakers, as well as USB ports up here in the bow as well. And then up front, one of the new improvements in the 280 Vantage is that I have the option for a reboarding ladder. Typically, we would either have to choose a windlass anchor or a reboarding ladder. Reboarding ladder would go right here, but you have the option to include both in the new design of this 280 Vantage, as well as an additional freshwater sprayer up here in the bow. So again, beautiful 
28 foot dual console fishing boat from Boston Whaler here at Marine Max in Pompano. This boat is for sale. If you'd like to come by and see this boat in person, I'd be happy to show it to you. My name is Chris Wenstrom again. You can reach me on my cell phone at 727-460-4175. Thanks again.